Hey there, everybody. This is going to be a group reading for Earth signs. So if you are Taurus, if you are Virgo, if you are Capricorn, then this reading is for you. And friends, if you like this reading, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to do readings for all of you. And if you're looking for a private reading, please contact me at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. So let's take a look at the overall energies for all of you Earth signs, because there is a lot going on right now. Okay, let's see, Earth signs. Overall energies, please. What do we need to know? Wow, 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 holy smokes. What's this, what's this? Wow, three cards coming up for your overall, all right? So boom, shapeshifter. Look at that beautiful card. Mm -hmm. So shapeshifter energy for me, this is all about, let's say, transformation and unveiling your own personal gifts, okay? So many of us are feeling like we are either transitioning or we are being challenged right now and being pushed to the limits in some of our, let's just say, hearts or possibly some minds, depending on where you're at. So what this is about is really uncovering your own personal strengths. Friends, it's about remembering who you are. It's about remembering this light being that you are that is connected with love and not necessarily connected with all this fear-based energy going on around you. Yes, you can jump into that fear-based energy, but is that who you are? Not really. Who you are is light. Who you are is love. And when you can navigate your own energies and bring forward the energies that you need to deal with in times where the energy is coming in or making you feel a little off, then you truly are the one who's wielding the energy you need to go in a positive way. Okay? Bring out these positive aspects in yourself and then you'll be able to move forward and navigate very well through these times of uncertainty. Now, something else that's coming up for you guys. I love this. The sun. Okay? Now, with the sun, it's all about enjoying happiness and success, okay? What this also talks about is opportunities are coming forward for you. So for all of you earth signs who feel like there's not a lot happening, I'm stuck in fear mode, I'm moving forward in terms of um, negative thought projections, this is really here to remind you that there is a lot of positivity coming for you as well. So don't give up. You need to enjoy. And, you know, a lot of us right now are, you know, the, the kids are not in school. There's a lot of um, places that are closed and stuff like that. So I think that with the doors opening, what this can really talk about for you guys is much needed rest that has been needed and you haven't been able to get for quite some time. So we have to, you know, accentuate the positive. And now when you have a little bit more downtime, let's say, now it's time for you to focus on the things that you want to do. Don't look at this as a negative. You don't have to. You can focus on these positives. Now, I also have Shield Maiden coming up, okay? This is all about making plans and taking action, but it's about making the plans first before we take action. Now is the time to make clear decisions based on the information that you know to be true and walking forward with a firm plan that you have thought of and made clear sense on. Interesting that the sword shows up in this, right? And when anyone who knows the tarot knows the swords are about the mind, okay? Let's talk about some actual details coming down the line for you guys because definitely these overall energies are right on point for you. What about our earth signs? What about earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What do we need to know right now? Let's talk about some detail about what might be on our plate right now for our earth signs. Where are we at? Here. Okay, so there might be some frustration going on with you. You might even possibly either be arguing with friends or family, feeling like there's tension in a social circle or in a family circle for you guys. This is the um, five of wands. So this really, I mean, this picture says it all. Possibly butting heads with people, arguing with people, tension, that kind of stuff. And I can understand why this might be showing up for you right now, okay? It's showing up for a lot of us. What's getting in the way? Ace of wands, okay? You wanna be, let's just say, you know, with the sun, right? This is you still having positive ideas and positive uh, momentum about the things that you want to move forward on. So friends, just because we have other people who aren't in alignment or maybe some other people who are in fear-based energies, doesn't mean you can't move forward with the things that you want to do. I suggest you do because where mind goes, energy flows. You can't sit down in the, let's just say that pit of despair, right? And then expect all these positive things to happen for you. You have to be the person waving that flag first. You have to be the person that's holding the energy of what you want to achieve and receive or else it's not going to come your way. So friends, be mindful about where you're putting your energy, especially at times like this. It's time to be flexible and shape shift when you need to and making those plans, right? Okay, strengths. So don't be afraid by this friends, but the death card is coming up. And why is this in your strengths? 
this is showing that positive change and transformation, right, is heading your way. So a lot of beautiful things are coming, but with times of change and uncertainty and letting go of old chapters and moving forward with new ones, it can be a scary time. So friends, again, the best advice, where mind goes, energy flows. If you're feeling uncomfortable, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling unsure, it's time to be really aware of where those mind, where those thoughts are taking you and put them on the back burner, okay? Give yourself permission to put them down because it's not gonna help you, it's not gonna feel better, and it's not gonna help to get you where you need to be, okay? Focus on positive change and transformation. This is your strength right now, love it. Okay, what's happening in the past? So with regards to these changes in the past, you very well might be feeling like, you know, everything that's coming up for you is transformation. So in the past, I have devil energy. Now that doesn't mean the devil's after you or anything like that. What that means is you feel either tied or bound to a certain situation or a person or a place or stuff like that, where you don't want to let go of. But death card is here. It is time for you to let go of those things. You don't need these things to survive and to be happy, to be positive. Okay. So you really need to start looking at what was in your backyard or what was knocking on your back door and be willing to say goodbye to it. Friends, it is time to let go. Okay. What about the mind? Yes. Okay. It's time to focus on growth, friends. You've got the emperor in reverse in the mind, okay, in the north direction. So this is telling me very much that you really want to grow. You really want to make new changes, but you're not exactly sure how to do it. And maybe you don't feel that strong momentum to do it, okay? I understand with this ace of wands, you're trying to bring it forward. But this, if anything, is showing me so much, friends, where you need to focus your momentum with your own internal energy so that you can bring it out, okay? All right, so I do think, you know how we're talking about this, you know, butting heads per se? I do think that this is gonna be coming to an end because I do have the Five of Swords coming up, okay? So this is drama, this is, um, you know, people being mean or nasty, but the beautiful thing about this as well is looking of somebody walking away from that energy, all right? So this is you walking away from a battle. You might see things, and is it because you've been tied and bound to something that's uncomfortable? Maybe, maybe it's time to make that change and really cut those ties, okay? So if you see some stuff coming up for you guys that's uncomfortable with regards to personal relationships or with a work situation that's not working out, it just very well might be time to let go. And this could be the thing that allows you to move forward from what's been holding you back in the past, okay? Yes, okay. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, I have is some advice for you guys. So friends, time to ground yourself, try to focus on what you want. You might have felt like you didn't have that momentum and this has come up a couple of times in this reading, but it is time to turn that frown upside down. It is time to buckle down, put your feet down into the ground and know that all your creative energy and juices is just ready to flow out, okay? So don't stop yourself from your own positive things. All the stuff that's in the past, you don't need to hold on to it anymore. It's like dead weight, let it go, okay? Because seriously, you're ready to build, you're ready to create, and you have all the energy to be able to do it. Don't ruin your own momentum, okay? Let's see overall, how's this gonna work out for us? Yes, okay? And we were already talking about some of this being work-related and with other people too. End of the day, three of cups. This is telling me that the social situation or a work situation or, you know, not getting along well with others, it's going to work out because either you're going to be losing some people that are not supporting you in this right, or you're going to realign yourself with other groups or with other organizations or individuals. That's going to be a better fit for you. This is about celebration moving forward. Happiness, getting together with individuals and friends. Doesn't this look better than this? Big time. Lots of beautiful things, but 100%, all of this is within your hands. Be aware of what is coming to your mind so that you can refocus yourself in the direction you want to go. I hope you enjoyed this reading, friends. If you enjoyed it, please give me a like, a share, and subscribe so I can continue to do more readings for you. And if you are looking for a private reading, please contact me at kellyfergusonreadings.com. Sending you so much blessings and love.